the purpose of my my, uh, my kind of uh, my expose uh, is twofold. First of all, I would like to to share with you some humble uh, assessment on what are the emerging driving factors for the increase of drug trafficking, transnational organized crime, and, and terrorism in the Sahel. Probably you have seen my uh, my bio. I happen to be from Spain, but I've been very, very much linked with, uh, with Africa for over uh, a decade. I just finished a period of three and a half years in uh, Eastern Africa and the, and the Horn of Africa covering uh, these two regions as the UNSC regional rep. And I come back to this region where I was before uh, many years ago as the deputy rep. And now I come as the regional rep uh, in this really amazing uh, region of West and, and Central Africa. So I would like to assess the dynamics with you just for five minutes and then propose uh, a dynamic framework of cooperation in terms of water security and management strategies. I see seven driving factors in terms of border management that we need to assess right now in West, Central, and also East and Southern Africa. The first one, you probably have seen some of the uh, reports from UNODC. Uh, we are going to be uh, launching the transnational organized crime and threat assessment for West Africa soon. So one of the trends as you probably uh, you've seen, and especially those of you who come from law, law enforcement, is gold trafficking, arms proliferation, and jihadist groups. Uh, more than ever before, the latest gold discoveries in the Sahel, such as in Kidal, coupled with the arrival of armed groups in the areas where gold was already mined, such as, for example, in northern uh, Burkina Faso, and Torodi in Niger exposed these resources to the predatory behavior of rebel and jihadist armed groups. That we know. Um, we know that there is uh, an interconnection between these rebels and jihadists and transnational organized crime, which is making us think through our cross-border uh, management strategies. I'm talking about eastern Burkina Faso and, for example, the Tilaveri region between south and western Niger or southern Mali which is linked to Guinea, or Kidal, the Kidal region in northern Mali to Algeria. So that's one of the emerging uh, uh, trends that is becoming more and more prominent. The other one we know uh, very well, and our colleague from IOM is also here, uh, trafficking in person and smuggling of migrants. But I wanted to make a reference to something that you already know. So Niger, we know that has long been uh, kind of hub, unfortunately, along the trans-Saharan illicit trade and trafficking route. But, however, in terms of trafficking of uh, persons and smuggling of migrants, 